Well, uh, since we're talking about Izzy, you know, we talked about Glover a little bit. Um, what do you what do you see for Izzy is Israel Adesanya? Can we kind of skip to this Whitaker real quick before yeah. we talk about the other one? Yeah. Because now that we're on the topic of Izzy, we really got to talk about this Robert Whitaker thing. Robert Whitaker coming out basically and saying that uh, he never said that he didn't want the Israel Adesanya fight. Yeah. Now. Well, it's more specifically, he said no one even talked to him. Right. No one even called him. There was no contract. No one said, hey, would you like a title fight? If you're listening to his post-fight con- uh, interview or whatever, con- uh, the post-fight conference, he didn't seem like he was super excited to fight Israel Adesanya again after beating Jared Cannonier. if I'm being honest. So when Dana White came out and said that, I just assumed, okay, maybe Robert Whitaker didn't. You know, because mm-hmm. Robert had, you know, as I said in the last previous episodes, like Robert Whitaker's been very open and honest and just like how much pressure there was about being champion. It yeah. made sense to me. And I was kind of defending Robert Whitaker, but it, uh, come to find out that's not exactly what he meant or said. Yeah. Well, so what do you think on that? Well, well, specifically what he said was, you know, I want to take the holidays off, spend Christmas with my family, be with my family, friends and kids, you know, let the new years come, sp- take all this time off and then we'll talk about yeah. fights. So, I mean, he never said, Hey, I don't want to fight Israel again. Cause yeah. he even said, you know, I would like that matchup. And I think there's things that I could do. To make it a little more interesting than last time. He goes, you know, I essentially got knocked out twice in that last fight. It's really embarrassing. And I do think I have what it takes to maybe have a different outcome. Now, now I have a question for you. All right. Given this situation that we're in with the light heavyweight division with Glover Textera obviously beating uh, Tiago Santos this weekend, Mm -hmm. winning five straight, being 41 years old against Jan Blachowicz. What do you want to see as a MMA purist fan? Would you like to see the Izzy Yawn fight right away? Or do we do now that Robert Whitaker has came out and said that, hey, I'm not opposed to this fight. Would you like to see Israel Adesanya defend his belt against against the former champ? And and to see that rematch, and then we get the we get the deserved fight for Glover Textera and Jan Blahovich, or would you rather see this Izzy Yawn fight right away? I think it depends. I mean, you gotta think about like it, what champion is deserving of this huge super fight payday? You know, is Jan Blahovic deserving of an Israel Adesanya payday? I think so. I think that if he was a businessman, if he's thinking the business take, I think you take that Israel Adesanya fight because it's going to be the bigger payday. But at the same time, like you just said, is Glover Texter is the more deserving fighter? I think they're going to make that fight, to be honest, just because of the way it happened this weekend. He was so dominant against the number one contender. Mm-hmm. Like, let's be real. Yeah, I think they make that fight. I think Israel fights Robert Werdeker or anyone else, really. It doesn't matter in this fucking division. It really you know, doesn't. He I, can fight anybody. I've got to be 110% honest with you. I actually disagree with your take there. Let me tell you why. Dominic Reyes, lost. Mm-hmm. Okay? Thiago Santos, lost. There's only one other person. Glover Textera. I think Glover Textera deserves this fight. And Jan Blachowicz has not defended his belt one time, yet he's going to get a super fight? Yeah, that Look, exactly. Is he deserving out, of it? No, he is not. I, I would say after beating Glo- if if he goes out there and he does beat Glover Textera, which don't count that guy out anymore, and honestly, I might end up picking Glover just mm-hmm. to say, fuck, at least I picked him one time. Um, but... This this is the fight you have to make first. Jan has got to defend his light heavyweight belt before you get a super fight in Israel out of Sonya. You have to. The, the, the number one contender was just taken out. The number two mm-hmm. contender was just taken out. You know, obviously with the Jan defeating him, mm-hmm. right? So now we have now we have Textera. You take Tex, Textera out of the out of the equation. You can undisputedly say, okay, I'm going to take on Israel Adesanya. You know what? I got to be honest, too. Israel Adesanya has got to de- defeat Robert Whitaker one more time. Do I think he can? Absolutely. But but we got to see that fight one more time. Robert Whitaker was not in the right headspace. Robert Whitaker was a pretty pretty fantastic middleweight champion, if I do say so yeah, myself. Yeah, really, I mean, beating Yolo Murrow in the way he did twice is yes. it's pretty scary. Yes, it's, it's pretty spectacular. And that is a fight that we have to see. Because let me tell you, right now, if you take Robert Whitaker, which is the number one contender out, and you take Glover mm-hmm. Textera, the number one contender out, you can set the precipice for a super fight at the light heavyweight division. I think this is the only what this is the only path to to really sell this super fight. I think it's a little bit premature right now, and I'd really like to see both these guys uh, win one more time for this super fight. That's just my opinion. It only makes it bigger. So I agree. I agree. I just, the only thing is, is like, do we want to see the Robert Whitaker fight over again? I do. 
I do. I, I really do. As an MMA purist, as an MMA fan, you got again. We just brought it up. Yoel Romero twice. Like, Jared Rob, Cannonier Jared now Cannonier. and Darren Till. Exactly. I mean, he's deserving. He's got absolutely one hundred percent deserving. Is this fight gonna sell? I don't know. You know what fucking does. sells though. You know what fucking sells though. Israel Adesanya and Jan Blahovic. So I think there's a reason why the UFC is pushing this fight. I mean, but, the, he yeah. said you, uh, Rip Robert said it himself. The UFC is pushing this fight because they know it's going to be the money. Hold on. Maker. New Zealand and Australia. You're trying to tell True. me. True. And you have not, to say that's yeah. the biggest fucking fight card of most people ever. Exactly. Was that fight card. Exactly. So that's a good point. And you're trying to tell me they're not going to buy this pay-per-view again just because Robert lost. If anything, the Aussies are going to be back on board, man. I'm telling you right, uh, right now, you're going to sell huge pay-per-views with this. How about this? And tickets they're, because New Zealand. Right. And let me set this up for you. Let me set this up for you. You do a main event, co-main event, mm -hmm. belt to belt. And then what if what if uh, Jan goes out there, defends his uh, light heavyweight belt, and then Easy goes out there and defends his middleweight belt on the same card, main, co-main? I mean, I know it probably would never happen, but dude, well, it that just would sell happened. right there. That's just your happened. free promotion. Yeah, well, it just happened, so why not? Yeah. If it lines up perfectly. There's a reason why they made this fight. They both just fought. Right. So, yeah, why not? I think that's I think that's a very smart idea. You do it in New Zealand. You do it in a soccer stadium. Yep. Even at 50% capacity or whatever the fuck, who knows? I think who New knows? Zealand's wide open. I think they're wide open with yeah, soccer stadiums be. right now. So, yeah. who knows? You know, you could definitely get some ticket sales. Absolutely. Absolutely.